Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, July the 10th. In this video, we are going to go over ICT executions, I believe, from July the 8th. Uh, and we're going to discuss his Twitter feed. I'm going to read out to you his tweets. I had to bring the bit rate down on my recordings because uh, I just these things are taking way too long to upload. My internet is not so good here. So if you're uh, if you cannot see the screen or if it's too low resolution, do let me know. I, it's just these uploads are are taking forever. So I lowered it back down to 3,000. Um, anyways, guys, my name is Reese. I'm an apprentice of the Master Trader, Inner Circle Trader. I uh, follow everything he does. So I'm going to just read out his latest tweets, and then we're going to go through his latest execution videos, which were, um, I think, from July the 8th. Okay, guys, he said, apparently many of you require insights into how markets book price and how you can put down antiquated means of trying to determine it. Scrammer's improved a lot. He even uses commas now. If only he put the period inside the quotation marks, because this is not England. Uh, we put the period inside the quotation marks. We put all of our, in the United States, your punctuation should go inside the quotation marks, not outside but um, that's okay. He's improved a lot. Uh, it's, it's a lot better. Um, this week, we tackle institutional order flow. The fact that... Yeah, okay, we got stopped. That was paper trading. I was seeing how we were doing on paper trading. And yeah, it's going to be a tough day all around whether... Anyways. Um, okay. Uh, the fact that high-frequency trading algorithms run orders into markets at market makes the be-all and end-all perspective of order books, book map, uh, DOMs, near useless today... Before these tools print the numbers, supposed orders are uh, at which orders are resting or resting at, I know where uh, high-frequency trading algorithms will enter. Using what I teach, we are light years ahead of everyone else in anticipation uh, versus reacting to spoofed orders on DOMS. As you know, guys, uh, if you go looked up lawsuits over trade spoofing, it happens all the time, uh, regardless of whether it is unlawful or not. Uh, there have been people... Uh, sanctioned and gone to prison over spoofing. Does it still happen? Yes. More on this as we go on this week. It is a good morning. Remember in the movie The Matrix when Neo sees the black cat twice, the experienced members understood that was indicative of agents on the move. That is a quote macro. Everything reverts back to lesson number one. We talked about this. Where is the draw on liquidity? It is not always easy to determine for the new students, but it gets easier over time. Submit to it talked about that. We can time the market and anticipate a price run in or just after a macro. That's his latest video. If price does not present any signature in its delivery, it is, ellipses, we have intel to close our efforts for that time of the day. What is a macro? What did you learn versus what you hoped it was? Okay, and then he's got a link to his algorithmic price delivery and time macros intro, and I highly recommend that you go watch that. Okay, skip those. The clearest indication that someone does not know how markets are made, how price is booked, quote, if a lot of people use ICT setups, they will push a button and change it all. Yeah, it's true, guys. Uh, you're not changing algorithmic price delivery by talking about it. Uh, this is not um, quantum quantum physics, guys. Uh, it's The electron is not going to turn into a particle just because you looked at it. No observer effect here, okay? All right. Let's get down to his execution. Shotgun Saturday. Um... This is ranting. Okay. All right. I'm going to skip past all of his all of the ranting, and I'm going to get to. It's forty minutes. All right, guys. We're going to get into July the seventh uh, executions, and I believe that he has a few executions from July the seventh. I'm going to outline the executions for you as they happen. I can play the sound on this video because um, he does not have copyrighted music on it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to allow the whole video to play uh, for two, 2 minutes and 13 seconds. 
and then uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it. Too long. All right, so I have a very long version of this one. It's 40 minutes of me actually talking about most of what's occurring here. It's very, very boring. It's very dry. Um, if you wanted to see that one, and not, this is a voiceover what I'm doing here, but uh, I promise you it's not all that enlightening. It's just me talking about what I think is going to happen, um, how I started the day up here trying to get a illusion trade because someone said show me a illusion trade, but then when it failed to be a loser because I wanted to see it get stopped out and then show that on Twitter, uh, I actually identified it as the smart money reversal and low risk sell, which I actually sold short in. And then I did the uh, second stage distribution here, Market Maker Selmo, which is not white though, by the way. <laughs> so uh, you can see some of the partials here. I'm going to sell short right when it bangs in the bottom of that yellow buy side of balance, no side of efficiency, proving again authorship, not supply and demand. There you go, boom, hit it. And you'll actually hear me talk about that if you are successful in encouraging me to put the full thing up here. It's 40 minutes long. I was all over this thing today. Like, I literally whipped NASDAQ pretty bad. So I'm looking for that right there. I'm showing you that it's uh, got a fair value gap and the sell side resting below the 1220 lows, which is the original consolidation for I'm not going to sell model. So I'm lowering the stop. It should not come back up and touch the bottom of that yellow box, which is the buy side balance outside efficiency. And it should sell off here because there's a small little gap there. And we're inside the three o'clock hour, so it needs to seek the sell side below 15, 289 and a quarter. And then the fair value gap shaded in blue. And one partial and I lower the stop. It should not come back up for that. But if it does, that's fine. Finish my end. Okay, guys, uh, I'm now going to mute the sound and I'm going to give you my commentary. Um, so what he's talking about here is the market maker sell model, which is a stage of accumulation, another stage of accumulation, and then a shot up into a higher time frame level, and then a smart money reversal, which you can see up where my cursor is, where he took his initial short, um, and then a first stage of distribution, and then a second stage of distribution, which is targeting sell side liquidity. Now, when you're watching the ICT trade executions, it's very important that you notice what time of the day it is. That's why we don't use Rinko charts. That's why we don't use things that take away the time. So the period from uh, 3.15 New York local time to 3.45 New York local time is the ICT um, PM macro. And that PM macro is just a simple set of commands for uh, the price to go and seek the nearest liquidity. And so that's what he's talking about. Now, if we see where my, I don't know if my cursor's here or not, but you can see the, the yellow box. The first time that it comes through that BISI, we're gonna trade through it. And as we trade under the yellow box, um, that's gonna be an inverted fair value gap or an inverted BISI. So the first pass through it is just gonna be a standard BISI. Okay, so we're trading through that inefficiency. And when price trades through an inefficiency, that's called re-delivering it. Okay, so we're trading through, we're re-delivering that inefficiency. We have an idea that the market is in a market maker sell model as we've seen that higher time frame level get delivered and we are distributing, meaning we're going lower algorithmically. Okay, now as we trade below the yellow box and we trade back into it, price is rebalancing the BISI. So the first pass through is called a re-delivery and the second pass through uh, is called a rebalance. And as it trades back through, that BISI is now going to invert. So do you see the midway point of that BISI is inverting, and that's called an inverted fair value gap pattern. Notice on his risk management that he has been, he started with an initial stop. So we go back to the start of the video, and you can see that he had an initial stop. Uh, he's trailing it down, right? So as the market is moving in his favor, you can see that the stop is is trailing down. So that's very important that you're following the market with your uh, profit stop. So it goes from, your stop goes from loss to break even to trailing profit. 
and then this final bissy here was his target, the top of it, because he's you know assuming that that is where price should deliver and should come and uh, re-deliver that bissy down there in the blue box. So uh, it ends it ends up treating that um, inverted bissy right there as resistance, and then we trade back to the lower bissy and re-deliver it. Now one of the things that you'll hear him mention is that after it bumps it a few times, that's his term for it, after it bumps the BISI a few times on the, on the inversion, at that point he moves the stop down to the yellow box because he does not want to see it go bump it again. So it's already bumped it a few times, he doesn't want to see it go bump again, and sure enough it does not. Okay, so that's my commentary for ICT uh, July 7th execution number one. Okay, guys, we're going to get on to the second ICT uh, trade example from July the 7th. Okay. See if this is music. Inside of this, it's not. Okay, guys, we're gonna watch his commentary over it uh, in full, and then I'll give you a brief discussion of uh, what I think about it. So, whenever his Twitter executions are um, not copyrighted music, then I can play them in full. If they are copyrighted music, uh, I will just have to talk over it. All right. So I'm inside of this 10:50 to 11:10 macro trade of accumulated a large position with the 10 to 10 15 sippy so all of that's time distortion I'm going to place a okay. I, want, I wanted to briefly say that he has not come out publicly with time distortion I believe that is something that he will come out with but it's the general idea is from what I can understand without him actually giving a lesson on it I'm really hoping that time distortion is something that he gives a video lesson on. Um, but time distortion is essentially where the market hangs at a certain place for a long time, in my opinion. Group of partials in the form of limit orders to sell um, right above the high formed at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to aim for that fair value gap in the form of a SIBI at 15,290. So I have the buy side liquidity now that's been taken as a partial down to the low of the SIBI near the high. It's formed around 8.30 during the knock-up payroll. Uh, that'll get filled here next. There you go. And in the high of the SIBI. There you go. How's that for nonsense? <laughs> These guys on YouTube, man. Twitter. Goobers. I'm going to run up and take out that buy side liquidity at the high today. And that'll be done for today. You got to wait for the afternoon. You don't trade in the morning session around off our payroll release because that's amateur hour. You get slapped around. And when the liquidity is established, we've seen that sell side taken out at 1030. So now buy side is the lunch macro. It begins here at the 1050 to 1110. So that's a nice little drop on the short term sell side liquidity. Got ourselves a thunderstorm here at present. Okay, here we go. Should rip up there and take out the buy side. Okay guys, so we watched the video in full. I will give you my thoughts on it. So the 1050 to 1110 macro is just a short set of commands to go and seek liquidity. Okay, the price is just going to uh, take from that period of time, it's gonna go seek liquidity. So we see our nearest highs there and then external liquidity up higher. Uh, from 1050 to 1110, that short set of instructions should send price into liquidity. Now let's notice our risk management 
He's starting with an initial stop that is below the short-term lows. Um, it's also into this ICT uh, bullish order block. And so we notice that the initial stop placement is eight points lower and it's below our short-term lows there. Now he can do that because this macro should, should aggressively be spooling to go see liquidity. Okay. So I'm just watching kind of his risk management, watching for when he all right, ends up moving the stop. Now what he's got highlighted here, guys, is do you see that SIBI right there? He's using that as an inverted fair value gap. So when price trades through it and trades back into it, it inverts and should act as support to go spool higher, uh, which you can see that price does. So it treats that SIBI as an inverted SIBI. And why is the target where it is? Well, that is where they're going to be stop orders, where the liquidity is. It's also above that premium SIBI up there, which he mentioned. Of course, this is way more contracts than I could have on, but he's just demonstrating. So I'm interested to see when he moved the stop, and you can see him circling that premium SIBI up there, premium relative to the dealing range in which we're operating. So price should be attracted to go de re deliver that. That's an inefficient price delivery, so price should be interested in trading through that. Now, let's start to notice the risk management come in. Um, he's going to start taking off parcels as the market goes through that SIBI. Um, so we first start with this mitigation block here, that little green candle right there, that's a mitigation block or an order block. Um, that's where the first three contracts are gonna come off. Next 10 contracts are coming off at the low of the SIBI. Next 10 contracts are gonna come off at the high of the SIBI. And then the remaining contracts are gonna come off all the way at that high. Because you don't really know in advance, you know, whether it's gonna be a failure swing or not. But that's just risk management. Now notice that the break-even stop is in the marketplace, so he's playing with house money now, which is what you want to do. You want to play with house money whenever you can. Okay, now more risk is coming off, so he's just banking. Guys, anybody who tells you that you should not be taking parcels is a damn fool. Pay yourself. Take risk off the table. You put risk on, and then you have to take it off, guys. That's, that's kind of how this works. So the market in this example would be spooling higher. Spooling higher after that 1015 1050 to 1110 macro you see we're coming into new york lunch new york lunch is an hour a 90 minute time frame from 1200 new york local time to 1330 new york local time uh, in which the market should be uh, seeking liquidity as well so we're in that time period and you can see that the market in this example was spooling higher to go attack that buy side liquidity this is what it did And I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead. You can see he's got only two contracts left. Uh, he didn't trail a stop up for the last two contracts. And then there was the final delivery. So that was July the 7th. July the 7th chart. Show that. Uh, one of the things that he mentioned in his video. Uh, so this is non-farm payroll Friday. And you can see it's Chop City. Difficult market conditions. Happy non-farm uh, non-farm payroll Friday folks step right up yes make room for the kitties please feast your eyes on the meat grinder yes friends and neighbors this is the event every new and or aspiring trader takes on for quick quote easy money end quote the following is where the stops reside okay those are your liquidity pools all right guys July the 7th another execution video let me see if this has copyrighted music no it's silent all right we're going to get through the 3rd, July the 7th execution example. Okay, so, so first, guys, I'm just going to comment commentate over this. Um, you notice that the buy side liquidity, he's using those relative equal highs there as his buy side liquidity, and then that single low down there as the sell side liquidity. And what he's telling you is that the market should be drawing up to that buy side liquidity it's there's so many PD rays and little inefficiencies in here and the market is really chopping around that makes it difficult for the human eye to see and of course we do go uh, and and the market goes and takes out that buy side liquidity initially of course that's what it did so now we're moving we're pumping into that inefficiency Let's see what he says poor fellas all right all the gamblers that were gambling right before the non-farm payrolls release 
got got shreked. Um, on the left hand side of the chart, you can see he's got his five minute chart. It's coming up on a higher time frame BISI, that 15 minute BISI, and price should want to go and re deliver that uh, at some point. Know that. Okay, it should want to go trade up and through that 15 minute BISI. I don't know if it's going to be shown here on this video. But one of the things that you can see that he does is that right before an economic release, he marks out where the buy side and the sell side liquidity should reside. And obviously, you don't see him tra uh, take a trade execution here. Uh, let's see if there were any other execution videos. No, we're back on July the 6th. So, guys, that has been ICT Wisdom and ICT Trades analyzed um, for July the 7th. 2023. My name is Reese. I'm an apprentice of the Master Trader, Inner Circle Trader. Uh, we are working and Lord willing, we will get there. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a lot of work. This has been ICT Trades, Anal Trades Analyzed for July the 7th, 2023.